What is up guys, Lynn Ray here. Today I'm gonna to show you all how to take a photo, edit it to the exact dimensions for your particular website, then we're gonna take that photo and place it onto your website. But first, All right, what is up guys? I am back and as I said, we're gonna take a photo. We're gonna edit that photo to the exact dimensions that we need for our particular project. The project that I'm working on here is my webpage, right? And so what I wanna do is I wanna put an image that spans from one end of the screen all the way to the other end of the screen. So I'm gonna have this as, as kind of like a banner picture. This banner picture is gonna sit above the Linray's ride. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I found the dimensions for that uh, with, with a MacBook. I'm sure there are many other different types of ways of doing it, but this is the way that I found that's easiest for me, and it's using the screen capture feature on Macs, which is Command Shift 4. So as you can see, a little arrow comes up, excuse me, a uh, crosshairs comes up. If you go from one end all the way to the other, you see it says zero, and as you scroll to the right, those numbers change all the way to the other side you got 1679 so I know that the width of my screen is 1679 pixels all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of that and then let's go cancel and then I'm gonna go into preview in preview I'm gonna open up the picture that I want to edit and the name of my picture is right here so as you can see this picture is 6,000 by 4,000 pixels way too big that would dwarf the screen it would it's just massive so I want to take this file and I want to resize it to the proper size which is 1,679 pixels so I've actually already done it so I won't do it but I'm gonna go through just the method for you all so here on MacBooks or on Apple products I'm sure it's very similar to other products as well, other Windows products. Uh, you would go to Tools, you would go to Adjust Size, and here you would type in, and you also want to ensure that it says Scale Proportionally, you know, whatever, however it's written in your particular software, do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 1,679. We're going to go ahead and press OK. I've already done it, so I won't do that again. And what's going to happen is it's going to resize and a new picture will come up. Now you're on a new picture. Now you want to go ahead and crop that new picture to the exact uh, dimensions or the exact size and shape that you need. Since I'll be doing a banner, I would find a particular portion. So let's say I'm just going to go ahead and show you here. So I would look for the particular picture that I'm looking for. It would be this. That's pretty, pretty close to what I want there. And so I would go ahead and crop using whatever way your software does it. Very simple on preview. That's why I love Macs. It's just super easy most of the time. And then once you crop, a new picture will come up and then you are now free to put that picture onto your website. So let's do that. So I'm back here on my website. I'm gonna go ahead and find Sublime Text, Sublime Text here. So this is the code editor that I use to build the website. And since I want the picture above my header here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna find my header, which is Lemon Ray's Right, and I'm gonna put the picture above it. So in order to put a picture on there, you have to use an image tag. So an image tag is basically IMG and whatever the source is. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and IMG, and the source is, let's see, what's my source? Um, so my source is images, slash, uh, some, is that it right? Set name dot JPG. So that's my source, and if you don't know what your source is, I'll kind of show you here. So basically, it's where your photo is at. So this is the folder that, that holds all of my web page stuff, my website stuff, and I have my images folder. And inside my images folder is a folder, excuse me, a picture called Sunset Main. I just noticed something here. So with this, you also, you wanna have the type of file it is. So if it's a JPEG file, you wanna have JPG there. 
Um, if it's a PDF, you want to have PDF there. So whatever file that is, you want to have that particular extension on there. And so it didn't hold for some reason. So .jpg. All right, so there we go. So that's good. So I'm going to go back here. Um, in HTML5, you they it, I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but you want to have an alternate there. So basically, if the picture fails to load, it, you know, J, uh, HTML5 wants to have something pop up, right? And so we're going to go ahead and put words. I'm going to put new port um, beach sunset. So that's what will pop up if my image fails to load. And here, so there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to close that tag out. Let's save it and then again. And now everything should function properly. Let's find out. So I go ahead and open browser. And boom, there it is. So this is the picture that I edited and uh, cropped. Pretty simple. And I want to show you something here. So let's go ahead and close this. So this is the same thing. So let's go ahead and I want to show you something. What happens if this is wrong? So basically, let's say for instance this file happens to get deleted, or the you know the wording isn't proper. Let's save it and let's see what happens. So as you can see, nothing. Actually, the picture disappears, but that Newport Beach sunset is there. So that's that's the reason for the little alternate attribute. So, but we're going to go ahead and fix that and put it back the way it's supposed to be. Save it, and then it should pop up properly this time. All right. That's it, guys. Uh, that's how you basically edit a photo, place that photo into your web website using the image tag. I'm going to hit the sack now. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.